So what is going on everyone? Fernando Silva here with another video and today we actually have three videos of unboxings. We're gonna have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which I think is this one. We're gonna have the iPhone 13 mini, which will be on another video. And then the iPad mini six, which is the one that I'm most excited for. for but for this one, the reason I'm going with this one first is because as you guys know, I use iPhones as my main camera. So both of these camera angles are both iPhones. And for the remainder of the videos, I wanna switch to this 13 Pro because right now I have an 11 Pro Max that I've been using for about two years. And I wanna see if after two years there's a big enough difference in the camera game, especially when most of my footage is kind of single take, A roll in one situation with decent lighting. So I wanna see how much of an upgrade this 13 Pro Max is gonna be. So without further ado, let's unbox this thing. So here we go with the unboxing everybody. So it is around seven o'clock right now where I am. And that's how long it took for me to actually get everything in. So now I know that I'm going to actually, instead of pre-ordering them to get shipped, what I'm going to do moving forward is actually just go to the Apple store and like order it the day of and go in the morning to make sure that we're good to go. But this is the new packaging. So as you guys can see, black box, this is the pro one, just split this open. And also <laughs> I ran into the UPS guy outside and he actually ended up dropping this box. So, oh my God, I, I swear to God, if something is wrong with this, I'm gonna be so mad. Like he dropped it right in front of me. But this is the box, right? So it's all black. It's a slim one, right? This is the, first, the second year that they're doing the slim box. It's all because of the environment and they're trying to lower all that stuff, all the emissions. And I know that Apple's trying to go like carbon neutral by 2030, I think they said, or 2040, who knows? But again, here we have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and I went with the, the black version or the space gray version, which I always do. I, sometimes I try to get those new colors and things like that, but at the end of the day, I end up keeping this, you know, basic, you know, space gray, graphite color, whatever you want to call it. But I'm excited to open this up. And I got the 256 gigabyte variant. So one step up from the 128, because I did want to try all that new ProRes stuff, but let's open it up. We have all this going on. And let me know what you guys think about these new angles, because we're trying this out. But again, we're using iPhones, which is kind of crazy. So we have an 11 Pro Max filming my A-roll and then just a regular 11 filming the top-down view. So here we go. Let's open this up. Nice and slow. All right, we're gonna use two hands. And oh my God, <laughs> this camera is freaking crazy. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It is huge. And like I said, all the iPhones that, I'm, that I currently have, they're being used for cameras, so it's gonna be hard to compare them straight up. So definitely watch the next video, because in that video, I'll be able to actually compare some of the camera sizes with the iPhone mini and things like that. But I do have an actual Pixel. So this is the Pixel 5a, and just for size comparison, right? This is the Pixel 5a, 5g. This is the size comparison. I mean, look at these cameras. <laughs> that is crazy. And then from the side, I know there's a weird comparison because this is like an Android phone, a budget Android phone, but just for size purposes, I did want to show it off. And I believe this one is like a 5.5 inch screen or something like that. Like it's a decent size for what it is. And this one's supposed to be 5.7, but whew, this thing is pretty, but those, those cameras are huge. These cameras are gigantic, but you can see already fingerprint magnet, right? I know that they have the matte finish with the stainless steel sides. Everything kind of looks exactly the same. SIM card tray, the paper right here, power button, 5G antenna. Let's turn this guy on. Let's do a little ASMR right here. And let's turn this on. Give it a second. All right, so as this powers on, let's see what's in the box, right? Because that's what everybody's here for. So as you guys know, Apple, I think two years ago, stopped doing the power brick in the box because they expect everybody just to have a million power bricks all over the house, which is kind of sad. But again, they're trying their, their excuses to save the environment, right? But this is what we have in the box. So you have a SIM, a SIM tool tray designed by California or designed by Apple in California. You have a Apple sticker only in white, even though I got the graphite or space gray color. And then you have the actual charging cable, which is USB-C to lightning. And everybody knows Apple's going to hold on to that lightning port as long as they can. Although I know that the UK or I think the EU, so Europe in general, is trying to get a mandate where all cell phones in the next two years or all smartphones in the next two years have to go USB-C. So I don't know if Apple is going to accommodate that or just get rid of the port altogether, but I guess we'll find out eventually. But let's set this up off screen and then I'll come back to you guys. So now we have the iPhone up and running. It's actually backing up for my last save. So that's one thing that you do need to make sure, especially if you're on the beta program, 
for instance, like if 15.1 beta one did release and my iPhone was on the developer beta program, but I actually took it off because if I were to go to 15.1 and then try to restore from a backup on this one, it wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work at all. So you would actually have to start from scratch and that's kind of annoying to do sometimes. But this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Again, the thing that's standing out to me is the size of these freaking cameras. They're huge. The fingerprint magnet on the side with the stainless steel rails, but it's a beautiful device, guys. It's so nice. It's definitely hefty, heavier, thicker, a little more squared off in the hands, especially since I'm actually coming from, like I said, the 11 Pro Max, which was the last phone, the last iPhone that had the rounded edges, you know, a little bit easier to hold in the hand. It was still small enough where I can actually touch my two fingers, which I can't do right now. But again, this is the new iPhone 13 Pro Max and some of the changes, right? Some of the changes that I've noticed and some of the changes that Apple made, right? So inside we have the A15 Bionic, which is their brand new chipset. Love to see it. I'm sure iOS 15 is gonna run right through this, no big deal. And then also some of the physical changes, right? Obviously the camera bump is a lot bigger, right? The lenses are bigger to let in more light, better aperture, better low light. The wide angle camera is supposed to be a lot better. And again, this isn't my full review. This is just my initial impressions. And I guess my non-embargo unboxing and impressions of this iPhone. Because again, this is the first time I think ever that I actually skipped the generation. Because again, I thought to myself, the cameras on the 11 Pro Max are good enough. They work really well. It's been working well for the channel. And overall, I just, I love my 11 Pro Max. But as of right now, I do plan on trading it in for this one, which is nice to see. And then a couple other things that you see initially, especially if you're coming from an iPhone 10 or higher, the notch is actually smaller. Apple says it's 20% smaller. And also you can see that the earpiece is actually much, much higher if you guys can see that right there. So the earpiece actually went higher up there, which I think is a little bit of an inference as to what Apple's gonna do moving forward, maybe with the 14 or the 15. Cause I think that we're gonna get to the point, especially if you saw those John Prosser leaks with the iPhone 14, we're gonna get to the point where now we're, we'll have just a hole punch display on the front or a hole punch camera on the display and then nothing else, which you know, to each their own, again, people hate on the notch, but you get used to it immediately, especially if you've already had one in the past, like this doesn't bother me at all. If anything, it looks a little funky that it's a little bit thinner, which is weird. <laughs> there was actually a tweet that came out where somebody actually opened up the iPhone and they saw that there was a little bit of a gap where, they Apple, where Apple actually could have shrunken the, the actual uh, face ID or the notch even more, but I think they kept it that way because, or they didn't shrink it as much as they could because they were afraid of getting like a weird look, like that old Pixel phone that came out a while ago with that weird notch that was huge. But again, this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's gonna be my daily driver. The first thing that I'm gonna do with this iPhone, we gotta throw our Pataka case on there. And also, Banks was kind enough to send over a screen protector. So I'm gonna throw that on. I'm gonna keep it naked for a little while, play with it for a little bit. I might throw the screen protector on a little sooner rather than later, but I'm definitely gonna rock without a case for at least a week. But that is my initial impressions. I'm excited to use this for the YouTube channel, see if we get any actual level ups or any upgrades to the camera equipment. Because again, these cameras are like I remember when the 11 Pro Max came out and I was like, damn, triple cameras, this is so new, this is exciting, and I thought that was big. So this is almost like twice as big and twice as like thick too, like the thickness on this thing is crazy. If I put it here, you may be able to see just how thick and how far these protrude actually, but I'm, I'm sure these cameras are gonna be freaking amazing. We'll set this up later, all these photos and stuff like that, but I'm excited to try this camera out. But stay tuned, stay subscribed because we have a lot more videos coming. Next, we're gonna unbox the iPhone mini and then we got the iPad mini too. So really excited to get all these videos out to you guys and stay tuned for a lot of reviews, especially the iPad mini. We're gonna put that thing through its paces. Cause I'm curious to see who it's gonna be for, how powerful it is. Is it comparable to like an M1 chip or more comparable to like the A14, the A13, the A12Z, things like that. We're gonna run it through its paces and see just how powerful that thing is. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, peace.